A question people had too was, which I actually was like, yo, I gotta ask this. Yeah. When Max the Demon popped off, yeah. it was kind of like he shot high yeah. and then somewhere along the lines, it was just like, poof, Max is not dropping nothing. Nothing is coming out. Um, what was like, what, what got in the way or prohibited him uh, to release music? Look, man, time to get to the bottom of this. Like, like cool. For me. When, yeah. I was, when I was out, I was the glue. I was like, I was the glue to everything that was going on. Meaning that I was the big bro. For me, they, Max, Siggy, everybody looking at me like, that's the big bro. So now when I was out, you know me, we having fun. But then at the same time, you got opportunists. You got people who see an opportunity and try to you know, to take advantage at the same time. So now, yeah. you have people that's like, like like you said earlier, Max was like a main factor. So now you have people trying to separate everything. Like, yo, look, mm. you know, take Max over here. I'm going to take Siggy over here. So what happened was Max ended up getting himself into some bad, retarded, stupid, crazy deal. Or whatever he got. He got himself into some, some stupidness. Yeah. And he just like... He got two kids, you feel me? So bro okay. was like, you know what? I don't got time for this. I'm about to focus on my life and my kids and work. Yeah. So bro just really went in the cut. Like, like, you know what? Let me just like focus on me as a person. Cause right now everybody driving me crazy. Labels driving him crazy. You had a lot like opportunists. When you see somebody that don't genuinely fuck with you, but mm -hmm. they see that you a ticket and they try to benefit from that, nothing's gonna go well, son. If somebody mm. don't genuinely fuck with you, like genuinely, just don't even bother yourself because it's never gonna end well, you heard? Because in their eyes, they don't, they not respecting you for being you. They just mm. respecting you for what you could do or where they see they self, like where they see y'all in the future. So yeah. that's where it went wrong with bro. You had a lot of other people. When I got a lot, because when I was there, Ain't no, when I was, before I got locked up, son, ain't nobody could just come around like, yo, look, I got, nah, nigga, we don't need y'all. Look, we just did all of this yeah. without help. We don't need no mm -hmm. help. So now you had some of the, some, some one, two, one, them like, yo, look, I'm going to snatch up Max. I'm going to snatch up Siggy. Yo, look, Max way more, more important. So look, that's what caused a lot of the distance. Yeah, between, every, between every, Siggy, and, Siggy and, Max. and Max. Like. Because at the end of the day, they was doing fun without people in their ears. But once you got people in your ears, and they, they was young at the time, you feel me? So it's like, not that they don't know no better, but if you selling them a dream, they gonna type, go for it. Because at the end of the day, they young niggas trying to come up. They like, damn, man, they trying to get on. Yeah. So you had a lot of people just feeding them nonsense. And I wasn't there to like, mm, I wasn't there, bro. Yeah. And that shit fucked a lot of shit up, bro. Because if y'all notice, once I got locked up, the first year was good. But after that, everything went like... Kind of separated. Yeah. Damn if, hell. If, if you don't mind, I I remember... I had interviewed Siggy Black a while ago. The first one. The second one was way better. But the first one, yeah. that was in the beginning. I had like kind of just started. Yeah. <clears throat> he was with a group of people that he was signed to. Was you answer if you want? Was Max signed to Vogue or no? Nah? Was Max signed to Vogue? Oh. Was Max signed to Vogue? I ain't gonna find. I don't know. I never really. Cause once I got locked up, I was locked up. Bro. I was away from. I don't okay. think. I think Vogue had something to do with him with getting it, signed. Yeah, Vogue had something to do with a little deal. Yeah. That he had going on, you feel me? He signed some light shit, and I think Vogue did play a part in that. Okay. Because okay. you know, Vogue is like, he's like the scout. He fake be putting certain people yeah. in and shit. But yeah, he yeah. did. He did. He had something to do. Yeah, he had something to do with that. So, so yeah, 
and, and then around it's like you said around that time Vac was kind of like the liaison between label and artists getting them deals and all that yeah. and siggy was with like i, th I think it's like tip top and all of yeah, them and, was with tip top, yeah. yeah so is it is it i guess for me i'm thinking to myself like i grew up with my man's like what is being said that is put in separation amongst me and the person I grew up with. You know what I mean? Like, like it was just the it was just it was just the dreams they was selling them. I mean, niggas was just selling them dreams, gang. Okay? Like niggas was just making them think, like, yo, come with me. This is what's gonna happen. You come with me. I'm gonna we gonna get on. I'm gonna put you on. Yeah. We gonna be lit. You gonna get rich, you know, and niggas was just mm. selling them dreams and at the same time, like I said, at the end of the day they young. You feel me? So you got two young niggas being finessed by a couple of old niggas. You know, yeah. old niggas got the game, you know that shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Old niggas know how to talk. They know how to talk. So at the same time, they didn't have what can I say, like they didn't have some like, all of them is young. Like, everybody, they, they, like, they was all young. So they didn't really have nobody with sense that really cared for them as people to be like, yo, bro, look, we bugging out. Yeah. Everybody was just selling them dreams. So at the same time, if you telling me, hey, I could do this, and then you telling him, hey, I could do this, and I could be this, they going to go for it because at the end of the day, that's what they want. Yeah. You feel me? That's, that's what they want. Absolutely. So... They ain't really fall out, but they got separated because yeah. at the same time... Their password went in a different way. Yeah, you got one going over here, one going over here. Gotcha. It's no more damn. We linking up every day. We planning on going to the studio together as a group. It's now, oh shit, I got to go do this by myself. For me, now you're going to do this shit. You got people say, hey, no, you can't bring this person. You can't bring that person. Oh. Damn. Oh shit! So that that's what really feel me like. Oh nah, look, you going over here and do this. You can't. He can't come. Oh yo, you gotta come, Dolly. Gotta come by yourself. Yeah. They ain't really. Nope. Yeah. They yeah. gonna hate me, yo, you heard? But <laughs> niggas ain't really want niggas to win, bro. They want the niggas to. Yeah. They wanted to win. They didn't want the artists to win. They was trying to benefit off of being managers and and. Throwing the assists, but ain't nobody really wanted to see them do good. Like, yo, bro, I want to see you win, man. Like, yeah. I don't even want to benefit. I just want to see. It wasn't none of that. It wasn't no real love or true care. It was just, oh, shit, nigga, I could get lit off these niggas. Fuck yeah. it. Yo, look. Let me get lit. You take him. I'm going to take him. And we going to get lit. But at the end of the day, that's not what it's really about, son. You gotta have... Well, making music, you gotta have fun. You take it serious, but you can't overthink this shit. And you can't yeah. overdo it. You just gotta go with the flow, have fun, and enjoy yourself. Once you start trying to make that shit like a nine to five and all that, that shit ain't never gonna go right. Because like, you're gonna start stressing. You're gonna be like, yeah. damn... Am I doing this? Am I doing this right? Am yeah. I doing this wrong? Second Damn. guessing yourself you a little bit. You start second guessing, you feel me? Yeah. And then that shit cause fallouts because you like, damn, because now you probably have one set that's cheating one better than the other, you feel me? You probably got somebody cheating Max better than Siggy, somebody cheating Siggy better than Max. So now why is y'all doing that? Y'all got them looking like, damn, son, like, like what happened? Like, what's competition going on? Like, a bit. You feel me? Like, friendly damn. competition, but then that shit, as young, as young people coming up, that shit fuck with their mind because at the same time, nobody's guiding them down the right path. Though. Yeah. Damn. You know, now, now you're home and everything. Is it too late for you to be able to, I get, I don't want to say talk some sense, but uh, have that conversation and kind of get the ball rolling with Max, with Siggy, and everybody getting into the studio and working again? Is it too late for that? Or um, are you able to even get that in motion? Or are they, or do they even want to? Yeah, I ain't gonna front. Max don't want to rap Siggy. As y'all yeah. know, Siggy dropped consistently. Yeah. 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 Siggy ain't never give up. Yeah. Siggy's dropping like once a week, probably yeah. Three, two, three times a month. Yeah, I be telling, same. I be telling Siggy, um, all the time. I be like, I feel like he's one of the most versatile rappers out right now. I don't, for whatever reason, 
we're in a climate climate where we're our attention is on the Bronx right now, but um, he is very uh, versatile, 100%. Yeah, Siggy, Siggy, definitely Siggy is one of those that like really helped take this shit to another level. Like a lot of people don't know with the with his song, um, Dishonest, he was like the song that K-Flock made, Being Honest. Yeah. Siggy was like the first person to start that trend. Yeah. So he really like sent kind of like sent the Bronx the wave, like, you feel me, like, huh, yeah. they took over what he started. At the same time, everybody know Max. Max gonna go crazy, talk whatever he, Max is, is yeah. that nigga could talk. I mean, he know how to spit. But Siggy definitely is one of those, you feel me, and he mm -hmm. don't get his flowers, and he don't get a lot of recognition for that shit, but he definitely one of those, though, yeah. you feel me, like. Definitely. Definitely one of those. But I, but my bad, I had cut you off early. I know you were saying like Max definitely wants to rap, and he you know I guess is there anything in motion right now? Um, are y'all working together? Have y'all been in the studio all together? Or no, not yet. Yeah, no, we haven't been in the studio, but we def. You guys, Siggy recorded a few verses, left some open, left some open space. Like yo, y'all get on there, cause you know. Yeah. I ain't gonna front, I've been in a group chat. Since I've been home, I've been in a group chat with all two of them, with both of them. Like, yo, look, yeah. what are we doing? Yo, look, this is what's going on. Yo, Max, you come back. Max is about to make a return. Yeah. Max about to come back. We're about to have something. We're about to do a collab, all three of us. Me and Siggy about to drop that World War IV. Um, we got, me and Siggy got some shit on the way. Yeah. It's actually a few more rappers in the cut that a lot of people don't really, like, know of as yet. Okay. But you def got my boy Jay Butter, which he's on the track with me and um, Max the Demon. That shit probably doing like yes. 500K already on SoundCloud. That shit been took off. So you got a lot of other rappers in the too, though. But we about to come back together. Right now, everybody know I just came home from the feds. So I'm like, uh, I'm in a halfway house. I'm on home confinement. I'm on an ankle brace. You feel me? Yeah. So it was but so much movement I could do without them being on my ass. Yeah. But summertime, though. Everything on everything on fall right back in line. You feel me? Everybody gonna get back together. Max just work. He working. You feel me? My son work serious job, so he's busy. He just had another kid, so he he just been a little busy. But yeah. every day he speak about going back in the studio, and it's gonna happen though. For me, it's definitely gonna be a return. Like That's this what's shit up. ain't over. It's definitely not over. Yeah, got you. Cause I I was kind of like um, you know, music. We're, this era of music is so fast that I was kind of like, damn, man, I hope he don't take too long to where people is just like, ah, you know, we don't want to listen to him. But, you know, whenever he does say something, I see people always like, yo, when you dropping music, when you dropping music. So I'm, I'm sure they still tapped in, you know? Yeah, nah, hell no. I ain't going to front. But a lot of people say that, like, yo, don't die out, don't lose. Man, I ain't going to front. Whenever we make a return, it's going to be like... Yeah. History in the make. It's gonna be history. Yeah. Cause yeah. anything we do is is just is just viral. Like I said though, it's not just City and Max that's artisans. Like yeah. I said, we got my boy Jake Butter. We got my son MB23. We got my boy LR. Yeah. We got Chopper Valley Free Chop. Yeah. I mean, we got a couple artisans that's absolutely like, that's that's nice with this shit. So it's not just us three though. It's, it's a bunch of us. It's a collective. It's yeah. like a group. We got Lorenzo. Yeah. Still got Tip Top. Yeah. We yeah. got a group of us that's. Feel me? Like they around. They doing it, but it's like they waiting on the big three. Like they yeah, waiting. to do that thing. <laughs> you feel me? They waiting on the top dogs to come back and like give life to this shit. You yeah. feel me? Like yeah. And and I ain't gonna lie with the music shit. So a lot of people try to take credit for what we did. Ain't nobody could take credit but us. You heard? Cause we did that shit on our own. Without help, we did that shit. Ain't yeah. nobody, ain't nobody but Siggy, Max, and myself could take credit for anything that took place and is gonna take place, you feel me? Like, we yeah. made it happen without the help. Little one, two help came later on in life, but when we started this shit from Row Eyes to Pulled Up to 9-11 mm -hmm. with Siggy and Max, or Double Back, Speak On It, Tuck Tales, it was it was just us who heard like we we made that shit a reality like mm -hmm. it was a no help it was a nobody anybody that say like yo 
I helped them, you know, I put them on, and look at this cabin, bro, like, I was paying $400 video shoot with Bliggity, Raps and Hustle, uh, I'm paying studio session, we all coming together, putting our little money together for the stew, putting our money together for the videos, I'm getting a little one-two outfits, like, if I see in World War Oz, we all had the AP outfits, you feel me, like, we was coming together as a group, and some of the bros that wasn't rapping, like the little bros, not the older bros, you feel yeah. me? We was, niggas was tallying up. Like, what's going on? Studio, huh? Look, you know, I got this much, I got this much. I right, boom. I take whatever they got and I throw the rest. Whatever was remaining. I, 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 for me, yo, this was going on. Boom, we out. Studio. Video yeah. shoot. And what are we doing? We went to Atlanta with MFE. You know, um, MFE, that was um, my manager and all that. We went to Atlanta, did a couple shows in the A. We were just having fun. We going to all the spots in, in, the, in the city, in New York, Brooklyn, Queens, wherever. We going everywhere. We putting in the footwork, too, you feel me? So it's not, yeah. we ain't had no paid promotion. Ain't nobody, we ain't pay nobody for promotion. We ain't buy views. We ain't buy likes. We ain't buy comments. Everything is authentic. Like yeah. Everything. All organic. Everything was just organic. Everything was natural. Everything, it was just meant to happen, you feel me? So yeah. it, everything was just us. It wasn't nobody... Like nobody was behind that. Like no, no disrespect. No, not throwing no shade from, from whoever feel like from tip top. Feel me? I, everybody like it was. It, it wasn't. It was us. You feel me? Like the bros was around. This shit was just us, dude. Feel me? Like.